What is going on everybody? It's Rob and today we are going to be setting up the Bitbox O2 step by step. If you haven't opened up your Bitbox already, I have another video and I talk about what to look for to make sure that your Bitbox hasn't been tampered with. But if you already opened it up, I guess it's too late. So let's get started. The first thing that you want to do is you want to have your Bitbox handy and depending if you have an older Mac, my Mac's a little bit older, it comes with this adapter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this little thing off. If you have a newer Mac, this should just slide in. And I am going to put it on the adapter. All right, there we go. So the adapter's on the bit box, it's ready to go. The next thing that you wanna have is this little backup disc, okay? Or I guess chip. This comes inside the bit box. So once you open it, this should be in there and this should be in there. You don't wanna put this in the bit box yet you will be prompted on your computer of when to put it in. We have both of these things ready to go. The next step is you wanna hop into your computer and download the actual app from the Shift Crypto website. So let's do that.
so now that we've downloaded our firmware, we've paired our device, we've got our password figured out, you're gonna be in this interface of your app, okay? Now, for the most part, everything in this app is pretty self-explanatory, and I invite you to just click around and figure it out, but there's gonna be two things that I urge you to do that not a lot of people talk about. So, these are gonna help your device be even more secure, okay? So, first thing you wanna do is right here where it says My Portfolio, you wanna click these three little lines in the top left, okay? So you can see down in the bottom, there's a little button that says Manage Device. Click that, and now you're gonna to come to this screen. Now there's two little sections here. The first one is right here where it says Secrets. There's a button that says Show Recovery Words. Now if you're familiar with crypto at all, your recovery words is a mnemonic phrase that stores all of your private keys. This is extremely important. For some reason, this hardware wallet doesn't prompt you to do that in the beginning because it puts your backups and your private keys onto this little USB chip right here. So everything you need to recover it is right here. But if you lose this or somebody steals it, you're screwed, okay? So I really invite you to show your recovery words as an alternative way to get back into your device. So this is your classic 12 to 24 word seed phrase. I would write it down, I would remember it. This would enable you to get back into your wallet. So you can get back into your wallet with a bunch of different hardware wallets. If this thing goes out of business, you'll still be able to get back into your precious crypto. So I really recommend doing that. Now, the second thing that I really want you to do is if you go over here to expert settings, there's gonna be something that's called enable passphrase. Now this is just another word that is gonna add another layer of security to your hardware wallet. If you watch my unboxing video, there were some really good hackers that were able to get into the Trezor, but they said that if people enabled a passphrase, it was almost impossible to hack into a hardware wallet, even if you got a hold of it. So if you're paranoid like me and you want that extra level of security, I would really, really encourage you to enable another passphrase. But remember, if you lose any of this information, you're locked out forever. But this is part of us taking responsibility and sovereignty over our money. The last thing that I'm gonna kinda go over, this is pretty explanatory, is if you go back over here to your portfolio and you click Receive Bitcoin, it is gonna pop up and it is gonna show you your address and your public key, okay? So it looks a little weird, but what they do is they kinda hide it if you click right here where it says show and verify full address on device, it is gonna show you the format that you're more familiar with and that is gonna allow you to scan it, send crypto over into this wallet, yada, yada, yada. But that's pretty much it for this interface. Like I said before, just click around to get familiar with everything else and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys on the next one.